hello tray. Can I offer you a glass of wine? Yes, please. Ah, it Your manservant is that, always on the periphery. Those are, those, those are Curtis's buns. You just yeah. <laughs> cheers, yeah, my cheers. friend. Always a pleasure to see you. Likewise. All right, so uh, I'm here with my good friend, Mr. Trey Ratcliffe. Where are we, Trey? We are in uh, San Francisco. Yes. But we're specifically where we are yes. uh, is Peak Design. Peak Design HQ. These are people that make right. the my favorite camera strap and lid and connector systems and yeah. all that they stuff. Make something called a capture, plates. a slide, uh, and now a bag. And now a bag, which yes. is this bag right here. Right. So, you know, when you, yesterday, was it yesterday, day before yesterday, we talked and you said, yeah, I'm doing something crazy with Peak Design. I can't tell you about it, but come over and check it out. And I'm thinking, what could it be? Is it a new strap? Is it a new system? Is it, you know, what is it? Right. You know, I thought it, frankly, I thought it was one of these things, these little clips that goes on, that go right. on here. I come here and it's a brand new bag that they've got, um, which we did another video on, so if you want to go deep, into what this bag does. Go look at that video and they're doing a whole Kickstarter campaign. By the time you see this, the Kickstarter campaign should be rolling. Right. Um, so go there and support it if you want to get one of these. I'm getting at least one of these. Uh, but while I had this guy here, he's always running the world. He's in Africa, China, Korea, Cambodia, New Zealand, Iceland all the time. Now he's in San Francisco. I want to find out what he carries with him when he's running the world, and I'm sure you guys want to know too. So Trey, what's in your bag? Hey, by the way, for the part of your audience that doesn't know me, I want to make it clear that I do not take myself too seriously at all. I've yeah. built this up, but I'm really just a totally normal dude. Sure. Uh, but now I'm a normal dude that's really happy with this camera bag. Yes. Um, it was the most frustrating thing, isn't it, ever, when you just don't have it? There's always mm -hmm. something wrong with the camera bag. Yeah. So that was we'll really set that up a little bit. You, we, yeah. we talked about it in the other video, but yeah. let's just set it up the hero's journey piece for how this got here. Right. Well, so I came back after spending a month in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I various kinds of equipment, and I just hated my bag. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. I know I can design a better bag. Yeah. But then I thought, wait a minute, I don't know anything about designing bags. I have no business doing that. Yeah. But I knew these guys, so I called them up and said, let's design a bag together. Because these guys at Peak Design, they reinvent everything in photography. They give us products that we didn't even know that we needed. Yeah. So I love these guys. They're super out of the box. Turns out they're also really nice guys, you know? They have integrity, and they really care about this stuff. And so for the past year, this has been like our big passion project. We've been here, it. in Vietnam, testing like 30 iterations of this thing, and yeah. Yeah, they, these guys strike me as one of those companies that, that they're not just building products to, okay, let's put something out there that we think is gonna make a lot of money. If they're craftsmen, right? So you can tell that in the price. That's why I love that camera strap, because you look at it, if you look closely, you can say, oh, somebody thought about this. All right. Even down to the stitching, like somebody thought about how many stitches <laughs> should go That's right. in here. And hopefully that level of attention to detail has made it over to this guy. Absolutely, right? yeah. So, uh, yeah, so tell me, tell me first of all, so like I said, go watch the other video if you want to learn more about this bag and support their Kickstarter. But what's in here? Okay. Well, I'll start with what's hanging on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, this is my main camera, right? Mm -hmm. um, by the way, now I carry my camera pretty much exclusively on the outside of my bag. It's just easy to access and it saves room inside. Yeah. Do you find yourself shooting more when it's on oh, the outside yeah, because absolutely. you get to it easier? It's, it's very fast. It's mm -hmm. right there when you need it. All right. So this is a, a Sony A7R. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's possible by the time this airs, I'll be using the Sony A7R II, two, the IAT Mark II. Yes. Unbelievable camera. You've, um, have you you've shot with it already? I'm not shot with it yet. Okay. No, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going You're to not on their short list of people that get to try it out already? We, everyone thinks I'm sponsored by Sony. Yeah. I'm not. You're not. Uh, we, I maintain distance from all these companies um, because I don't want people like, you know, especially my integrity, this yeah. kind of stuff. That's one of the things I respect about uh, you, you know, because yeah. you wrote a post a while back yeah. slamming Sony about, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, awesome. Yeah. I got, I've done their hate one about uh, two years ago where I, I talked about how I'm switching from big Nikon DSLRs to Sony. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 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 Yep. Good. Good. Yeah. So I, I love this camera. It completes me. Yes. Um, on it, I currently have a Leica lens. Oh. All right. 
This is the Leica 21 millimeter. That's a Sumilux serious. F1.4. That's a serious lens. Let me see that. It's yeah, beautiful. look at this lens. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You gotta see that, baby. Look at that. Uh, yeah. And this little orange thing here is the NovaFlex converter. Because so mm -hmm. you, you can put any lens you want to on the, on this system. Yep. And that that converter, that's not converting AF and all that stuff, right? It's just, no. Once no. you put it on there, it's manual. It's manual. Yep. It's okay. Manual. And you're a landscape shooter generally anyway, so... Yes. Yeah. But even when I shoot people, because of the focus peaking, it's really easy to focus on people, even manually. I thought it would be hard, but it's not. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's what? not hard. I did it for years. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else is going on here is uh, I have my little um, tripod thing on here. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll go grab my new tripod too. I have a new tripod system. I, Ooh. I dumped my old Billy Wright stuff system. Um, I got frustrated with it for a few reasons. Yeah. Um, and I'll show you my new one. Just set my I want to see it. Okay. I want to see um, it. What's, what are these things hanging off here? Well, this is actually for the Peak Design strap, mm -hmm. okay, which is, I won't go through everything about that strap right yeah. now. But, but it clips on it. It's great. It clips on these things. Yeah. So, okay, so that's that. Boom no. shakalaka. Yes, put that um, over there. All right, let's open up the bag. Steam flies out. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see this in this other video because it's a really cool opening mechanism. That. It's all that's, magnetic. It snaps. Ridiculous. It's elegant. It's intuitive. It just works. Okay. So what's not going much on gear in there? there? There's not much in there. Well, you don't need much gear nowadays, yeah. do you? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Especially with the mirrorless system, it's just smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This camera. Remember, it used to be. I mean, your camera bag would be twice this big, and you might have more than one. Maybe one right. for lenses, one for bodies and flashes. Right. And you still didn't have enough stuff, right? That's right. And right. you might have had a Scotty vest on, or right? Something. Yeah. And yeah. now you have just this. Just right? this. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so you can see it doesn't look normal inside. I know you can't see on camera. Yeah. Uh, one reason is because we have this really cool uh, system. This flexes around, so you can fit any kind of uh, lens you want to in there. Mm -hmm. Something I've always wanted. So there's no negative space in there. I love it. So I'm going to pull out a random lens. What's going to come out? And that thing, while you're pulling that out, this this just this divider system has been the bane of photographers existence forever. Right? Yeah. Because it's usually you get your new bag and it comes with these foam right. things in there and it's never right. It's never Well if you think about it, I didn't even think about it until we got really into this project, but most systems are, you know, rectilinear. Yeah. They have squares, right? But no none of your camera stuff is square. You have round things. So you're constantly putting round stuff in square holes. Yes. So what happens is you have a tremendous amount of negative space on the outside. Yeah. And that's why camera bags are so giant. Yeah. Um, this one flexes and opens and closes because of the special system that we have. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay. 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 Pull it out, on First piece of gear. Now people might think I'm crazy that I like this lens. Yeah. But I do. Okay, this is a so it's a full it's a full frame camera, of course. Yeah. This is one of their new full frame lenses. Mm -hmm. This is the Sony twenty four to two forty. Let me see that thing. Um it's a twenty four to huge two range. I mean three five to six three. Yeah. It's yeah. a yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's super flexible. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Um love it. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. So um, that's your long lens. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, that's your long lens. Yeah, the two forty. That's that's as long as I really ever go. Yep. Uh, here's another lens. Um, this is the. This is my wide angle lens. This and is. The, this came out of the bag with no lens cap on it. Just, yeah, I ride dirty. <laughs> you ride dirty. <laughs> I love ride it. Dirty. Look at that. White and nerdy. It's a ten to eighteen. Yeah, ten to eighteen. That. Now this is actually for the old NEX system or the A six thousand system. Yeah. So it's actually cropped. Um, uh, lens, mm -hmm. but it still works on the full frame camera. You you really effectively what you get is about 13 to 18 millimeters. Yeah, right. So it's pretty wide. Yeah. Okay. Now of, of these lenses so far, like when people look at your work yeah. online, yeah. they want to know, okay, what lens did you shoot that with? Yeah. Which, what's your what's your go-to lens for the majority of your work? We now, all have a favorite lens. Right. Well, now for wide-angle stuff, I, I use that 10 to 18. Just that little yeah. guy, huh? Just that little guy. Wow. And pretty much everything else is, uh, is this. There's, these two lenses are pretty much all that I use. Yeah. With the exception of these Leica lenses, which are a little bit more specialty. Those are the ones you put um, on when you're in San Francisco to impress people and walk <laughs> around with your camera hanging on the outside of <laughs> your back. Um, no, I really do love these Leica lenses. I, I bought a little bit. In fact, I've got some more in here. I've got something surprising. Uh-oh. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, this this is a little Leica. This is the Leica 35mm Sumilux F1.4. Oh, I love the weight of these lenses. Fine German engineering. It's just feel, it feels like yeah. a BMW or a Mercedes or something right there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that lens. Sweet little lens. Look at that. Sweet little lens. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, we're, we're up to four lenses so far. Four lenses. Um, 
Here is another uh, Leica. What's this guy? Um, this is the 90 millimeter f2. This feels like a um, $4,000 lens right here. Yeah, it's a, actually what's really cool with these things is actually the awesome thing is a light here on yeah, both sides. Um, you know, everything's manual on these lenses. Yeah. Aperture and everything. But you can see when it's wide open, just oh yeah, how beautiful is that? Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. So, Look at that. It's just like just a tube all of light. lights. Like you can see that you can see the future. There's so much light in there. <laughs> you can see stuff before it happens. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I love that lens. Okay, now here comes the surprising thing I'm gonna pull out. Uh -huh. This is one of my new favorite cameras, oh. the Sony RX100. Yes, um, which they just it's updated. Amazing. Yeah, they just announced the Mark IV. It's mm -hmm. probably out by the time people see this video. But um, uh, we're embargoing this video until the Kickstarter starts. Of course, so yeah. So all this stuff will be out by then. Yeah. But it's great. This is an amazing camera. It's got a, a one-inch sensor on it. It's 20 megapixel. The Mark IV, which this is not, um, uh, is super incredible. And it can take 16 frames per second. Um, and that's super fast. Yeah. It's got like 300 autofocus points. It also does super slow motion video. Yeah. It's got 960 frames per second. Wow. It's unbelievable, yeah. this thing. So it's it, some water droplets falling to the ground, slow right. motion. Yeah. This is, um, so I use this for a lot of street quick photography, mm -hmm. uh, just for quickie little things. Mm -hmm. You go to dinner, um, you take that with you. Yeah. yeah. It is, it's great. This is also the system that I use at Burning Man. Mm. Uh, mostly. So you don't yeah. bring you don't bring this whole bag. You just bring this guy with you. Yeah. Well, okay. I, actually, I take everything, leave it in my RV. Yeah. And if it's clear weather, not sandy, I will get out the big guns. Yeah. But generally, I got this. Thing and when you say RV, you mean stretch tour bus. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there's that. Love it. Love it. Um, other just like little miscellaneous things I have. People like to know the miscellaneous yeah, things. You know? Yeah, yeah. Those are important. Um, this is sort of like the command center part. Mm -hmm. um, there's little touches on this bag too, like green stitching here indicates fresh batteries, yep. fresh cars, and red is for used. Now, this Sony, as much as I love it, it uses batteries like Pez. Yes. Right? Yeah. So I've got tons of these batteries. This is actually only. I carry like nine batteries. I don't that, know why. That's, that's a little an much. Issue. That's an issue. Yeah. I don't never use them, but I'm always like, oh my gosh, I might be away from. Charging. You don't want to be in the situation. You don't want to run yeah. out of memory card space. You don't want to run out of yeah. batteries. Yeah, those are rookie mistakes. What well, can I say? I'm a warrior. <laughs> um, so that's that. Uh, I've got uh, little extra lens caps. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of goodies. I love that there's not much stuff in here. I mean, we've seen, I mean, yeah. what, one, two, three, four, five lenses yeah. and a point and shoot, a professional point and shoot. Yeah. But there's not much stuff. I mean, there's not much there's stuff. There's not like all this other crazy stuff that people carry uh, around. So there actually is lots of, ex there's, I use my photography bag for more than just photography. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of times I have water bottles in here, I might yeah. have a jacket. Maybe a power fruit. bar or something. Yeah, all yeah. kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. I'm just showing you the, the, the photo e type stuff. Today. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that I normally do carry, I just don't have it. So in you're right basically now. what you're saying. This is not just your camera bag. It's also a purse. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> man, let's call it. A, it's a purse. It's a man purse. It's a man purse. Um, the other thing that I do usually have with you, not right now, is uh, my 15 inch laptop, which goes in there. Yeah. Um, and you yeah. carry that around with you. So I say do. when you're out on a shoot, say you're yeah. in Singapore. Yeah. And you're out out and about getting the shots and yeah. all that stuff. Is your computer with you or is it, it back is. in the room? No, I keep it with me. If I'm gonna go out all day and not go back to the room, I keep it with me. Mm -hmm. Typically what I do is I shoot and then I like, go to a cafe and I have some snacks mm -hmm. and some coffee and I like to work on my computer then. Okay. Um, it's just nice and handy to have around uh, for those long days. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, you have to kind of pace yourself. You can't just shoot all day like a nut. Right. And so sometimes when you sit down, I just I just have to jump on the internet and pull it out, stick the card in there, some photos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Let me go get my tripod. Yeah, go get the tripod. Oh, ah. this, is this me photo? Who is this? This is three legged thing. Three legged thing. Have you heard of these guys? I have heard of them. They're cool. They're like these Peak Design guys. Mm -hmm. They just do crazy stuff. Actually, the guy that runs it is hilarious. I think he used to be a comedian or something. If you got, you got to read all the stuff. Oh, maybe website. I'll interview him. It's fantastic. They're they're really good. Where, so where are they located? Um, I see? don't know where they are located. Okay, I don't think they're here now. Okay, so the way you get this thing going is you kind of flip it around. All right, and then. So this is kind of the system, right? Yeah. Um, these are really easy to open and close. You're like, oh, it seems like a lot to open and close. It's not bad. It's really nothing. Yeah. And the reason, I'll tell you the reason I have stopped using my really right stuff. Which was a bigger, more meaty tripod. It was it was a little too big and too meaty. So it, that's not their fault. I just, yeah. Um, but um, 
the ball action was not as smooth as it once was. Mm -hmm. The quick release got a little messy. Less than quick. Um, they always have this issue with like slipping legs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like there's nothing more pressing than setting up a tripod shot and then like one of your legs would just slowly sink. Yes. That was happening a lot with that thing. Yeah, yeah. And it was really expensive. You know, the, on that one the legs were like a thousand dollars and the head was a thousand dollars. Two grand. So, yeah. So you would bucks. yeah. So you would expect like it to last really a long time. And yeah. It, it just I don't know. I tried. Yeah. I did love it for a while, but. Just got a little bit too frustrating. Yeah. So this, anyway, this is small, nice and tight. I think the colors are pretty. Um, it's kind of fun to use, you know. Yeah. This one is called the Rick. They have names of their nice of their tripods instead of model five three one two eight one five. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So th this is. Uh, see that. Uh, it's nice is and light. Is that carbon fiber? Or what is that made from? I don't know. It's light. Or, no, no, that's that smart. I think it's aluminium, as they say. <laughs> I believe it is yeah. aluminium. This thing. Right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and you can and see how, how small it folds up too. You know, when you fold it up and around. Yeah, yeah. So it just becomes just basically that size, just like that. Now, is that is that meaty enough to for HDR work? Because you're like, oh yeah, it's absolutely. You got to be sturdy for landscape shots, and yeah, so yeah. that that holds it. No problem. And you're only holding the smaller mirrorless camera anyway. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. It just it snaps on there with no problem. Um, very and how do you steady. carry this around with you? Is it do you attach it to your bag or do you, you carry carry it separately? If I'm out shooting landscapes, um, I have the camera on here. Yeah. So I basically carry this. That's the unit. This yeah. Is, you flip it out, boom. The camera. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I just I just chuck it in my suitcase. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love yeah. it. Cool, man. Yeah. That's it. That's that's all that's in your bag. That's it. Simple life. Yeah. More zen. Simplify, simplify, what if, simplify. So over time, I mean, yeah. we all evolve our cameras and yeah. the stuff we take with us. We right. evolve it over time. Is this kind of the sweet spot for you? Like I you, think so. You know, we're always evolving, obviously, but I mean, this yeah. is kind of... And so my other question is, why so many lenses? Why do we have so many lenses? Well, oh, that's a good question. I mean, sort of a deep philosophical question. Yeah. Right? But um, they just do different things. Mm -hmm. um, I can't do with this, this lens what I can do with that lens. Like this, for example. Well, okay, for example. So the 90 millimeter, People look amazing with this thing, this mm -hmm. F2. Mm -hmm. um, you can get the softest bokeh background. It looks so buttery and so smooth. Mm -hmm. They just look amazing. Yeah. Now, this lens, this 24 to 240, also goes to 90 millimeters. Yeah. Not quite as fast. It might be like an F4 or something in that speed. Mm -hmm. So you can't get quite that buttery background. Yeah. Um, so it's just the, the quality of this is just, just incredible. Um, and the reason I have all these other lenses is it, it's, it's basically all I need. Yeah. From wide angle to tight, it's, that is it. I have not been in a situation like, oh, I wish I had wish brought I had that other lens. Because yeah. Yeah. Uh, I at home I have a lot more lenses, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I've kind of just simplified it into this. I love it. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. All right. right on. For, the, for the folks that don't know where you are, where should they go to uh, learn more about yes, Mr. Reckless? Uh, and I have all this equipment listed on my website. Too. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's stuckincustoms.com. Yep. Um, Keep talking. The, uh, the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash stuckincustoms. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just kind of Google Trey Reckless. On, I'm on all. I'm on Snapchat, You're and everywhere. Instagram. You've been Snapchat. Uh, I have been. I use Robot Trey. I, it's my real, it's my real, it's the real Trey. Yeah, like so a I, robot chicken? I, I exclusively <laughs> talk like a robot on oh uh, Snapchat. Oh god. Uh, it's, yeah. It's great. Alright, I gotta start using Snapchat. Cool, man. Awesome. Right. Congratulations on the bag. Well, thank and, you. I mean, you're always working on something crazy. Always. There's always There's, something crazy. Look, it's an awesome world. There's lots of awesome stuff to do. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's why we're all here. That's probably why we all like taking photos, because we know that we're actually creating beautiful, awesome things. Yeah. And we know that that is actually what life's about. So, that's right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just fully engaged with that world. I love Taking it. Taking it up. And you have been for the, how long have I known you? Like five years, six years? Oh, five years. Like years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I've known you, you've been engaged in doing this stuff. So, yeah. well, congratulations. It's fun. Love it's it. fun. Trey Radcliffe, check him out, stuckincustoms.com. Robot Chicken, you said? No, Robot. <laughs> robot Trey is on Snapchat. <laughs> robot Trey on Snapchat. I'm Frederick Van Johnson. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, Fred.